Good morning to you. This is Craig Jabez speaking. This is a beautiful process I'm going to explain. Marbling for Fun kits online, marblingforfun.net if you wish to purchase any. Good morning. This is Craig, marblingforfun.net. We love to teach marbling to beginners, professionals, whoever wants to learn a bit more about marbling. We are excited to present to you the country marbling kit. These have country kits. Uh, country colors I should say, beautiful colors to play with. We're going to go through the kit with you um, and explain what you can do and achieve with this kit. Um, it's a basic price of 40 pounds. Um, the kit will last you three to five years. You'll print at least a thousand to twelve hundred prints, give or take depending on how, mu how many prints you do and how much paint you use per print and so on. But this is going to last you a long long time. It's been it's a high pigmented uh, specialist marbling paint for beginners and professionals and the colors are extraordinarily beautiful so the lid becomes the tray we play with this is a practice tray it's a c6 size tray and this tray is suitable for beginners uh, for professional marblers they can use their basic trays that they've been using for, for you know for their for their normal pr process of marbling but the paints themselves the pigments we use being a high pigmented um, color, even though it's diluted 50-50 of water, the pigment is very powerful and very bright and very stable. Um, the designs flow extremely well on the size we use, which is a cellulose base, which is part of the kit. Uh, the instructions, again, very simple to follow through. Um, it teaches you everything you need to know. Um, so covers everything. Um, from beginners to professionals as well. Um, so that is part of the kit. Inside your kit, you get a denim blue, which is a beautiful color. You get a teal, beautiful color, very popular. You get a mustard color, okay. And we also have a country green, which is also a beautiful color. Uh, you always get white as well with this kit so that we can dilute them down into tints of colors. And those tints work out extremely well with your designs. So you can design uh, double the colors, triple the colors, quadruple. You can design and make many, many colors of tints with your kit. The size in the kit, it's pretty awesome. Uh, this is 12 liters when diluted uh, with water. So one teaspoon, which is three and a half grams uh, with a liter of tap water. And that will keep fresh for up to three months so you don't throw it away you keep using the, the same liquid even though it may cloud if you sink paint sometimes paint sink it's just a normal experience with mobbling uh, creating mobbling patterns but we teach you how to avoid sinking the paint uh, with our instructions um, so that is that part of the kit you also get eight of pets to dilute your colors which are very useful for tints and tones as well so having five in the kit white is the fifth so four would be your eight with the eight tints in themselves okay so we are going to do that the alum in the kit is standard this is for pre-treating fabric and wood and so that you can marble those surfaces you don't don't have to uh, pre-treat things like a tile or a uh, polystyrene egg or um, items that are have fibers or textures we use uh, the alum specifically for materials so that you can wash your material in the washing machine on a gentle cycle uh, that's essential obviously if you want to make and make your own garments as a textile artist the spoon is in the kit so that you can measure exactly what you need for it's a one slight heaped teaspoon which is equivalent of a three and a half grams of powder that you uh, mix with your one liter of tap water so let's put the kit aside we have the um, and they have been diluted one part paint, one part water. So 50-50 with your tap water. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding the white that has been already pre-mixed. And that is going to be put into the pot in front of the country green. So as you can see, I'm just putting two. This is a one mole per pet. So whatever full pipette you use it's one mole of, of so I'm basically doing this twice so there'll be two moles of white per pot 
just keep your paints mixed at all times. They are water-based. Um, right, now all we're gonna do is add one drop into the container with the white, and you will start seeing the tints develop. So that is now more of a cream color. If you add one, two, three maybe more drops, and you'll start seeing a very simple process of tints of that color. So I'm gonna speed this up a bit more, depending on what you like, of course, but of course you can understand how simple that is. So that is no longer white, this is white. The color is now changed to a cream color. Now we're gonna do the same with the teal. And put a new pipette in. Now we have a tint of teal, which is stunning. And the same with the denim blue. So this is how simple this is. Um, that's a beautiful color, absolutely stunning. And of course the country green. And we have a beautiful tint of the country green. Fantastic. So mustard, teal, denim, country green. Okay, now the cellulose, which has been pre-mixed and kept, is going to be poured into this tray. And you'll see it's quite gloopy when it gets poured in. Try and fill it to the brim of the tray. It allows for easy pickups, as opposed to the water really down far in the, in the depths of the tray because you need to get to that liquid when you're doing your printing. So we're gonna print onto some, uh, some paper, and then we're gonna print onto some material paper, and then we're gonna print onto a tile, a stone tile, and then we're gonna print onto a polystyrene ball. So these paints are fabulous. They are very diverse paints. They give you such a lot of variety in marbling onto different surfaces. They will do exactly the same thing on any surface that has textures and fibers. So they will literally stain that fiber or texture in a few seconds. And that's the beauty of the paint. Things that are soft, like fabrics, will absorb the paint very quickly. Things that are like a stone or a tile will absorb the paint slightly slower because the surface area is much harder. So you just got to bear that in mind. So you don't you necessarily have to touch everything, but um, it will look fantastic. So what we're going to do as we're going to print, I think we'll do a piece of fabric first. Drop in our colors. Now they all drop out by gravitational pull. You don't have to push the paint out very hard at all because they simply come out very quickly. Um, I'm now going to use a tint of that blue, which is uh, in each cell because the paints make cells on the water. There's no beading as much with this paint. Um, these paints are incredibly powerful and very quick to dry. So that's the green and the tint of the green I'll add to that little circle. And we're gonna use a very little bit of mustard. The mustard is a very powerful color. I'm gonna just use one drop. Um, and now the surface tensions create their own balance within the perimeter of the tray. Now we're going to use the tint of the, the um, mustard. And there we have a few colors. That looks fantastic. So when you print these patterns, they are far brighter than you realize. They, they look quite concentrated right now, but when they get printed, they're much, much brighter. Um, we're gonna do a simple star flower. So drag the paint out to the corners of the tray. In book one, we have 28 patterns that you can learn, which are more contemporary designs. There are a few traditional modeling techniques in that book. In book two, uh, the how to use rakes of the modeling for fun have a lot more 
designs that are traditional using rakes. So all I'm doing is I'm using a stylus at the moment. Very simple to do. And then we have a star flower with a couple of twirls in them. Now when I print, you'll see how fast this works. It's incredibly quick. Um, onto some cotton. This could be silk, satin, calico, muslin, denim, canvas, any material or fiber as I mentioned. As soon as it lands on, it stains. That is already finished. As soon as you see the pattern coming through uh, the design, this is already stained. It cleans my tray for me. There is no cleaning involved now. This is now completely sealed into the material and finished. I can touch this immediately. This is now into the fibers of the fabric. And that's the popularity of this paint is its speed, its simplicity. Anyone can do that. Okay. So if you want to go to according to the instructions, you'll get a specific pattern and your pattern will always be slightly different because they are unique in every possible way. Extraordinary fun, mesmerizing to watch. The kids love it. So that's onto some, uh, that's cotton. I've just marbled onto. So we're going to just uh, put that onto a piece of paper just to show you. That is the beauty and the brightness you get with these marbling paints. Okay. Now I didn't use much paint there at all. Very small amounts of drops for that particular pattern. That's why you can do so many prints with this kit. Um, so that is the actual print that you will get. Okay, so that is the country marbling kit onto cotton material. The next print we're going to do is paper marbling onto a piece of um, paper, which is 160 GSM paper. Uh, we're going to use the start with a nice light blue from the tint of the teal. We're going to use the teal itself. This time I'm knocking on the finger. And this is going to start building up these little circles called stone marbling. I'm going to do the same with the darker blue. Now you can use brushes of all kinds, toothbrushes, brushes from um, particular broom sticks, uh, all sorts of various options, but the results are more or less the same. All right, so again, a bit of the light green. That looks stunning. This is very small amounts of paint now. We are using part drops of a pipette, full drop. Uh, there are 20 part pots, part drops from each drop of um, what comes out of your pipette. So you can imagine how even just touching the water surface with your pipette will give you a, quite a lot of paint coming out. There we go. It's sloping up. So this I'm going to do is a simple uh, freestyle design. We're going to literally drag our colors through. Very similar, something a little similar, a little bit of a flower going on in the center and some twirls everywhere. There is so much control with this paint. The viscosity is perfect. This paint has been designed to be as perfect as possible. So you don't have to mix your own pigments. The pigments are in balance already. Um, so that's the massive advantage with this paint. All right. So once you've finished playing, you can go and have a cup of tea, come back. There's no beading. Okay. The paints will are so stable. They're fantastic. So in goes the paper. Uh, the 160 GSM paper marbling you curl it slightly to avoid air pockets so you are lowering it in from one side down to the other side and you simply put it onto the water surface roll it down and you've got a very bright as I mentioned before how bright they are this is sealed into the paper in a second so all we need to do is simply put it down onto some kitchen towel um, to take off the water and the print is already sealed into that piece of paper 
within a second. Okay, so that's paper marbling. Um, the colors are stunning, absolutely stunning. The leftover paint is called ghost printing. Um, so we'll just have a doodle. Uh, we'll do something a little bit more traditional. So a couple of lines up and down and a couple of lines in the opposite direction. That's called a chevron. Uh, I always like to add color so you can add just a drop at the end of your pipette, uh, sorry, end of your uh, stylus and do exactly the same thing for kids and whoever wants to play with this paint. So you can keep dropping. They are incredibly powerful. Again, it doesn't look like anything that's in the tray. Believe me, there is a lot of paint, plenty for a ghost print as a background effect for card making, uh, invitations and so on. I'm gonna go straight through a couple of lines and get a couple of hearts. Now you can hardly see it, but when you print it, it is again, very quick and bright and cheerful uh, onto some paper. So this is my card number two. And there we have it. That is a printed piece of paper, a ghost print with a couple of hearts on it. We're gonna lay that down just to take off the water. And you have a beautiful work of art finished, absolutely finished. It's just slightly damp, uh, it won't take long to dry. Okay, so a very, very successful paint we have. As you can see, the paints are showing it off. So that is card number two. And that's how the country kit works. It's a uh, tremendous fun, beautiful colors. The size of your tray is entirely up to you. The paints will last you up to two years in a diluted state if they have an, an airtight sealed lid, um, which we do sell online if you don't have any of those. Um, so you can use pull pots, bead canisters, jam jars, whatever you have at home that's domestic and is a sealed, uh, sealed shut, uh, that is ideal for using our paint as well. So thank you for watching. Uh, the next little video I'm gonna do is something to do with the country kit again. This time I'm going to be marbling onto a silk fan using a 12 by 12 tray. Uh, stay tuned in to watch the next one. Thank you for watching, take care. Excellent, this is Craig Javert once again, just giving you a few more demos on what you can do with Marbling for Fun kits. The kit and what we are playing with today is the country marbling kit with country colors. Five colors, we've got mustard, country green, denim, and teal with a bit of white, which allows you to design and make your own tints. Uh, we've mixed those colors in the previous session. Uh, we're gonna be marbling onto something very interesting, a simple polystyrene ball. So, we're gonna drop in some mustard. <clears throat> We're gonna use the tint of the mustard. We're gonna drop in um, a bit of, let's just move the egg before it gets. Uh, we're gonna drop in a bit of um, denim blue, which is a beautiful color with um, its tint, which has been uh, diluted down with white in your kit. We're gonna use a little bit of the the uh, teal with its tint and you can start to see how how basic this how simple this is the must is very powerful color um, this is called stone marbling very simple to do uh, just throw them in or tap on your finger uh, basically throwing it in I shouldn't say throwing it in <laughs> basically you're just dropping it in a, in a balanced form in your tray or well, as it is it's gorgeous I don't even have to touch that, but I'm gonna to touch it because I love to marble. And this is about marbling for fun for a reason. Everything we do is for fun. So all I'm gonna do is do some lines through some circles and make a couple of twirls. Um, and that's gonna be my pattern. It's called freestyle, very simple to do. Anyone can doodle. So we are literally just doodling on water uh, any way you like. If you go through the actual circles, the doodles themselves, you'll get hearts. That's also fun to do. And uh, let's see what that looks like onto the polystyrene ball. Now to do that, you can use a pen or a cocktail stick, 
but you're basically just stabbing it on one side so you can use it um, straight into the tray and then you just choose an area you love this area I love and down he goes do it slowly consistently and now we have a beautiful little work of art on our Palisari nag. Now you could do five, six of these in one design. That's just one pattern I've pulled out. Um, so these patterns are just incredibly accurate, even on polystyrene, which is not a natural surface at all. But because of the textures in the egg, in the actual polystyrene, it pulls into those textures and stains those textures. Give it about two to three minutes to dry, and then you can touch it. I wouldn't touch it now because it's wet because it's not natural. If this was natural, I could touch it immediately because the natural fibers will have absorbed the paint and stained that surface. But this is a surface print, slightly different. So this is gonna have to dry itself, um, but once it's dry, it won't come off. And there you have it, a policy egg with Marbling for Fun kits, uh, country kit. I'm Craig Jubert, thank you for watching. Take care. So all we're going to do is drop the colors into the water. This is the denim bl blue. Um, we'll add the tint of the denim blue into the water. The water is thickened with size called cellulose. It's what we call floater powder, which comes in a pot in your kit, giving you 12 liters of fun. Uh, each liter will last you a good three to four months, which is equivalent of using a duration of 36 months of fun that's three years of fun per kit um, the tints of the mustard beautiful colors very popular colors i'm going to use a bit of more teal in that So just dropping in the four corners of the tray, uh, very simple to do. We're gonna do four little floral patterns and print onto a tile, okay? The stone tile is always porous, obviously. Choose porous surfaces, don't use glazed tiles because they are simply sealed. They won't absorb the paint. So this paint needs any fiber or texture to mob it onto. Now the, the flowers are very easy. You drag it in a straight line. This is marbling for fun for a reason. We are having fun, okay? It's not serious. If you are not having fun with your crafts, what's the point? So I deliberately enjoy every single design by just playing on water. There's no pressure involved. And you can just doodle away and then it have uh, an exceptional beauty every time. So that looks awesome. Uh, the tile, as I mentioned, is just a stone tile, 10 by 10s. Um, this is called tumble limestone. You can use travertine, you can use stone tiles, uh, you can use all sorts of tiles that are porous. So I'm gonna, ch because that is a, a rectangular shaped tray, which is the lid of the kit, by the way, you can use your own trays at home if you wish. This is a square. I'm gonna to have to choose an area which I like. So I'm gonna go probably for the center-ish thereabouts. And there we have one beautiful tile that is stained for life. Um, how beautiful is that? You can do six to 700 tiles per kit on average, um, depending on how much paint you use. So if you want to do some tiles for your bathroom uh, or tiles for coasters, for friends, for gifts, if you want to do splashbacks, whatever you wish, the designs are yours, your colors, your designs, very satisfying, mesmerizing, and brilliant memory. Uh, thank you for watching. This is Craig Jaber. Goodbye for now. Good morning to you. This is a continued uh, session with the Country Marbling Kit. 
this is the country colors we use the denim the mustard the country green and the teal color in your set with white to create tints so this is the kit we're playing with today um, on a bigger format it's a 12 by 12 tray i'm going to pour in some extra water but, uh, marbling uh, floater powder we mix up to create this liquid size they call it um, you'll see the uh, size is quite thick this size will keep fresh for up to three months so it is a very very economical size to play with um, we don't use carrageen we find it's a little bit well it doesn't work as 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 i i'm so used to cellulose uh, it's a lot more flowing the viscosity is perfect for this kit and the pigments are incredibly uh, um, soft on, on the surface they are precise they flow really well their pigmentation is very high so everything works exceptionally well with these paints um, I'm going to use some of our rakes as well so we're going to use the one inch rake I'm going to use the pin rake the six mil pin, pin rake to create a pattern onto a silk fan which is one of these okay um, so very excited about this one um, very easy to do it depends on you on what your designs are going to be like uh, i'm going to do a cockatoo pattern which is one of the designs on page 37 on our new how to use marbling rake uh, how to use rakes and marbling with marbling for fun paint um, right so all we're going to do for this occasion is i'm going to draw some lines and the lines are going to be on the water surface only so a simple way of doing this is you create a tint with white with your pigment um, and you drag the pigment the tint of the pigment on top of the color you've just put down all right so that is the denim blue with its tint of blue i'm going to use a little bit of mustard mustard is that is going to be on here now this is really easy to do all you do is you drop a color and you drag the color out um, and the tint of that beautiful mustard is this beautiful tint here. We're going to use a little bit of uh, the teal. Teal is stunning as well. So the teal again, a line of teal on the water surface um, and its tint again. Fantastic. Um, I think I'm going to just balance this color a little bit out here by using the tint of the denim blue. So the surface tensions change. They drag the paint in now slightly to the center of the tray. Um, perhaps maybe some mustard this side. Along the edges and just wait for it to see it how it balances out fantastic I could add a little bit more of the denim blue into that gap over there and I could do the same this of course is entirely up to you what you want to put where you want to put it the idea is to create balance and that's all you want so uh, we're going to use the pin rake and make a chevron pattern with it first it's a six millimeter pin rake i made them uh so we're going to show you how that works i'm going to go away from you so that you can see what i'm doing So there we go that's one way now we're going to go back up on ourselves there we go i'm going to draw a line across that with our one inch rake
And there you have a stunning work of art. So we're going to go across those lines now. Get your copy two design. Um, and there we have it. So that's a beautiful work of art, just using a few rakes. And that's the beauty of rakes. Now this is a silk fan. The area where it is blank with silk, the area where it's wood, goes in last. So the wood, the, um, the full print will go on that surface first. Choose the colors we like, which is probably around about there somewhere. And they're going to go in. You can actually do one side. Let's try both sides though. So both sides have been marbled. And the results are very stunning to look at. And that will dry in about a good 20, 30 minutes, depending on what heat you put it on. Um, and the results are professional, absolutely stunning with using the country kit mopping for fun paints. Um, what a beautiful fan. This is going to be for one lucky person online. We'll be selling these online. Um, and uh, you can choose to have it while it's still available. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, this is Craig Jabeur, modeling for fun.net. Um, have a great day. Cheers.